Hello. Hello. Uh, underground art's pretty awesome. Yeah? <laughs> uh, so I just, um, in July, celebrated my five-year wedding anniversary. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Uh, we separated on September 30th. Um, so in, in the meantime, uh, so I moved out and uh, I stayed with my awesome friends right here for a few weeks. And um, at some point, uh, me and my lady friend, I guess, whoever said that. Uh, so we decided to see other people and figure out if we actually want to try and make it work. So um, I've never dated before, so I went out on line and uh um just just quick have you guys heard of tinder <laughs> all right <laughs> so i was on tinder and uh i obsessed about my <laughs> i obsessed about my profile for like 45 minutes um and i realized that like as i was writing this pretty much everything that i knew about dating was from my parents um <laughs> So my parents were married for 15 years, and then they divorced. Well, they separated, and then it took them 15 years to become actually divorced. Um, they were like they were both theater majors. Uh, <laughs> so like when I say that they were like really crazy fights, like they were the most articulate, vocabulary-driven, <laughs> Shakespeare referencing. Uh, really awesome uh, and the cool thing was that I never actually saw the fights um, my parents I would actually listen through the heating vents um, and well actually like who here has divorced or separated parents uh, <laughs> um, so it was really hard I was I was 13 and um, you know I, I knew what was going on uh, I knew that they were arguing about all the stuff Sex, love, money, affairs, secretaries, coworkers. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> uh, so my mom taught me that like when you're dating, you should always be yourself. Um, so I tried that, <laughs> and I'm um, still single. Um, <laughs> But, you know, it, one thing that they taught me was you should, like, research your life as much as possible and, like, really make every decision as carefully as possible. So I really agonized over this profile. And um, I talked to my parents, and they don't know that we separated, but they knew that I was applying for something. <laughs> <laughs> so they're like, well, what are your best qualities? And I was like, well, I'm, I'm nice. Uh, I'm cool, I'm chill, so I looked up online and I found that the best way to meet a date on Tinder was to say that you're a nice, chill guy. And they said that you should ask your friends for like the best picture of you that showcases the best angle. Um, and this was actually confirmed by like five or six different websites, so I knew it had to be true. And. So I did, and I figured out through like my family members and friends that my best angle is like, kind of like this. <laughs> and so I decided to make the, the first picture on my Tinder profile, a picture of me in front of my bedroom mi mirror, like. <laughs> and they said basically like, on all of these websites, if you want to like meet a nice girl, you have to like be as vague as possible. So I said, I'm a nice, chill guy looking for someone fun. So anyway, I did that, and uh, I met a really nice girl, and um, I'm not going to say her exact name, but it's the other word for rabbit. It rhymes with funny. Um, anyway, her name is Bunny. Uh, and... Um, it was going really, really well, and this was like my first Tinder date. And I was like, man, it's going really well. She's like feeding me the cake into my mouth, and I was like, yeah. Uh, and 
And she was actually prettier than her picture on Tinder, which is one of the first things I found is like no one actually looks like their picture. Um, which is fine, like we all do that. Like I don't always look like this. Um, but anyway, she was really awesome and really interesting and uh, started talking and I told her that I had been on a road trip with my brother at the Grand Canyon and she's like, that's interesting. What's his name? And I was like, I was like well his name's Hans. And I'm pretty sure there's only one Hans in Philadelphia. <laughs> uh, and it turned out that the other day that she had been on a date with my brother. <laughs> so I'm really sorry, by the way. I called my brother and, uh, <laughs> and I was like, tell me about Bunny. <laughs> and he goes, which one? And I was like, what? And he's like, Bunny 1 or Bunny 2? And I was like, are, like, are you kidding me? And he said, he said, well, yeah, I don't know, Bunny 1 didn't work out, but Bunny 2 is cool. And I was like, is Bunny 2 the architect from Atlanta? And he's like, yeah. I was like... <laughs> so he said, moral of the story is, anytime you go on a date, always ask if they know anyone named Hans.